Gosh, am I upset. So I definitely just recorded this video two different times with different OBS settings and they both were just terrible. I, if anyone knows of a good video to get OBS audio set up between your mic. So basically what happened was I had my mic set up, but for some reason, all of the default mics were set to the mic I had plugged in. So when I listened back to the audio, you could not only hear me four times, but it was extremely loud. I think I fixed it now, I, I certainly hope so. I'm gonna to try to get through this video quickly so I'm not super frustrated if I fail again. But anyway, uh, other side note, I've switched to using um, Herbsluft, Herbsluft, I don't know how to say it, but it's a pretty cool window manager. I like it quite a bit. I might do a video on it soon, but anyway, this isn't about that. This is about my favorite, my very favorite library in all of, uh, maybe all of Unix, because I use it hundreds of times a day, some maybe even thousands, I, I don't count, but it's called the readline library and it's used in bash as what's called the line editor. So command line interfaces will often have line editors. ZSH has one called ZLE, which just stands for ZSH line editor. But readline I've done videos on before. It's the one that's on by default in bash, but I found some amazing new tricks I have to show you. So just as a brief reminder, the readline library, is how you control the line, the CLI, like I said before. So you can do things like if I type three word, four words and want to delete one, I can hit Control W, and I can hit Control W again to delete a second one. If I want to repaste those in a different spot, I can hit Control Y. Uh, I pasted them in the same spot in this case, but if I want to, let's say, paste them at the beginning, so let's use a different example. Um, one word, two word, three word, four. Control W, Control W. Control A to go to the beginning of the line and then Control Y to paste them. And then I can hit a, a space there to add that space there. So um, you can also just from where you are, delete backwards and then hit Control E to go to the end of a line, Control Y to paste again. So we're back to where we were before. Now, all that's great, I've shown that before. So this is just a refresher for those of you who might be new, or well, I'm sorry, for those of you who saw it before, I guess it will be new to those of you who are new but I found some amazing new features that I just could not hide because they were so great, so awesome. So one of those is I've always done control backwards and control forwards to move forward by word. So it makes more sense if there's a bunch more words there, right? That's how you move forward. That's actually in read line by default. You can hit control, I'm sorry, alt B to go backward by word or alt F to go forward by word. Now in Herb's left, control uh, alt F is um, it's key bound to full screen. So I can't do it here. I can overwrite that. In fact, I can't think of a time when I would need full screen in Herb's left. So I might just overwrite that by default. Uh, it seems like that would be for the best. But anyway, uh, so that navigation is really valuable and it was new to me. I don't remember if I've shown this before, but if you do something like, um, I hope I showed it before. Something like this, and you want to change, or you want to delete just a certain path in the directory, if you hit Control W, you go back to the most recent space. I'm hitting Control Y to bring that back. But if you do Shift Alt Backspace, you go to the most recent non-alphanumeric character, like that. Right, so I could easily just delete this, and then Backspace here, type var, and then Control Y to bring back what I deleted using Shift Alt. Uh, backspace. And I'll put all these key uh, bindings in the description so it makes sense. Remember though, if they don't work, it could be that your uh, window manager or something else is bound to those keys. So just keep that in mind as well. Additionally, if I want to do, let's say I want to co uh, copy this file to this one. If I want to do that, now these files don't exist, but let's say they did exist, but I got them in the wrong order, like the first one didn't exist, but the second one did, right? I could easily just let's count here. We have, if we start at zero, we have zero, one, two arguments. And I can use the bang directive, which is uh, the exclamation point, to slice the previous command. So you'll know if you've ever done anything with, with um, uh, bash read line before that the exclamation point just means previous command. And so if you do previous command and then you type the history number, it will repeat that. I don't know what 234 is. I'm not going to run it. It will repeat that command in your history. If you do 
previous command previous, it does the exact most recent command. So it'll try the, the C, uh, the copy command here. But if I want to do something special with that, like slice the previous command, I can do, let me just type it again here actually. Um, so remember, again, we have zero, one, two arguments. I can do CP, uh, bang directive, and then zero, one, two, sorry, one, two, two, one. And you can see here that's replaced those two in, uh, in order using what are basically slices or arrays or whatever your you know, lists, whatever your favorite programming language calls them. I don't know what Bash calls them. So these are amazing new things I've learned, but there is one way more amazing thing I've learned. It's so amazing, I can't believe it's real. I'm gonna start using it, I'm fairly positive, but I haven't used it enough yet. So the one thing I never made the connection to is that these commands I've described, control A to go to the beginning of the line, control K to delete from the cursor, those are Emacs key bindings. And I never made that connection before. The read line library was written by the same people who wrote Emacs. Richard Stallman was on that team, etc. But because so many people working on the library preferred Vi as a text editor, they made a mode called Vi mode, which you can enter by doing set tech o Vi. Again, this only works on Bash. This is not implemented in ZLE. So what does that do? Well, you always start in insert mode. So I'm just typing. But if I hit escape, you can watch my cursor there, escape. It goes back onto the keys and I'm now in uh, normal mode, editor mode, visual mode. I don't remember the name of the mode in Vive, but I'm using H and L to navigate the keyboard, right? I can hit J and K to cycle through history, right? So these are commands I just typed, right? I can hit uh, zero to go to the beginning of the line, dollar sign to go to the end. B to go backwards words, everything you can do in, in Vi, the, the default Vi key bindings you can do here. So if I wanna do uh, delete the whole line, I can do DD. If I wanna paste it back, I can do P, right? And I can, of course, like I said, cycle through history the way I just showed, or I can yank, um, let me see if I, if I uh, just yank a word here. Let's do um, uh, YW, go to the end of the line, hit capital P, paste it, well, I did it wrong, whoops. Can I do U to undo? Oh yeah, I can do U to undo, totally fine. You see though, I can I can hit I to go back into uh, edit mode, so now I've hit I to, to add a space there, escape to go back. All of those key bindings you're used to, let me, if, I do, if I do V, do I grab the actual, oh. oh okay, if you hit V, it actually opens up the command in Vim, which is cool, and I'll bet if I edit it, it'll take me back. Let's see if I do that. Let me get out of here now. Oh no, that didn't work at all. Oh, is that an actual command? I didn't know that. Anyway, so maybe <laughs> maybe the editing there is actually a little bit more, um, <laughs> is a little bit tougher than I thought. I might have to get used to it. I just started using this. I just found out it's real. So let me just type clear here. because, um, And this, if you wanna go back to normal, if you just wanna experiment with it, you just do set taco emacs, which of course brings us back to where we were before. I can hit control U, control Y, control B, or alt B, etc. cetera, uh, control K. All the same stuff we had before. You can also change the key bindings on either of these. I didn't realize that as well. I mean, it makes sense that you would be able to customize it. It's all open source. It's all here on the actual computer you're running it from. So that makes sense. But if you want to do what I do in um, Vim or Vi, which is I don't like hitting escape to exit insert mode. I'm going to enter insert mode now and I'm going to type something. What I do to get out of insert mode is I just hit double J. I, I've made that key binding accessible to me so I can escape insert mode that way without having to reach for my escape key. You can key bind read line to do that as well whenever you're in Vi mode. So anyway, that's all I really wanted to show. Play around with it. Let me know how you like it. I think it's awesome. I'm probably gonna start using it. I just gotta you know, change some key bindings up. I have never liked ZSH's ZLE, the, their line editor, which is why I've never switched to ZSH. Whenever I start Kali up now, I, I always switch the default shell back to bash because I'm so familiar with the key bindings. Oh, did I not show the kill buffer? Oh my God, I'm sorry, I'm so sorry. That was one of the coolest things ever and I didn't even show it. So in read line, here's another, I guess another trick you're getting for free. This is a bonus part of the episode. Uh, whenever you're in Emacs mode, which I, is my, the default one I'm used to, I showed you that kill buffer. So if I want to do word one, word two, 
if I hit Control W and then I hit Control Y, that pastes what I just deleted, right? What I just found out is that this is actually being pasted from what's called the kill buffer, which you can cycle through. So I just deleted word two. Now I'm going to delete the whole line. This means when I hit control Y, let's say I want to do echo and then I want to hit control Y, right? It pastes back what's the most recent item in the kill buffer, but I can cycle through the kill buffer by not moving my cursor and hitting alt Y. So you see we're now at word two, which I just deleted the first time. So if I delete all this now and I hit control Y, we can cycle through the kill buffer again to see the most previous things we've deleted. Anyway, that's an incredibly powerful command if you want to store very complicated commands in your, uh, if you're doing in bash. So let's say these aren't complicated commands, but let's just say we're doing something like uh, copy thing, doesn't matter what it is. And then I'm over here doing, I want to pipe that to a different command, uh, blah, blah, blah. But I don't know if this second command works. I can do control U to delete the entire line, test the second command works, and then I can paste back and then edit whatever I want. But if I need to edit the command that I'm testing, uh, okay, that didn't work, but maybe it'll work if I do it like this. Then all I have to do, oh, okay, I don't know what that's about, but, um, and then I want to get back to the command I was testing, I can hit control Y and then cycle through that kill buffer to get back to where I was and start re-entering the command I was testing. Anyway, a little bit all over the place this video. I've been gone a while because of work stuff. I uh, won't go into it here. Maybe I'll do a uh, just audio update. But anyway, very cool stuff. The readline library is significantly more powerful than I originally thought it was. I'm going to start using Vi mode and let you guys all know how it is. If you guys have any advice for OBS, let me know. I am terrible at it. If there's like a good once over video, uh, I'm, I'm, you know, it's not the reason I don't upload. I don't upload because I'm lazy, but I've never had such a bad time as I did today. Anyway, hope all you guys are doing well. I'll be back on shortly.